everyone, thank you so much for joining me again for another YouTube video. Today what I'll be doing is encapsulating a napkin design. Um, I learnt this from watching other YouTube videos. It's really simple and effective. So I'm just looking at the napkin and deciding which pattern I want to use. And then I'm splitting the napkin so it's only the sheet of paper that has the design on. So here I'm just going to line up my tip to see which part exactly I want to put on the nail. And just downsizing the piece of napkin that I've teared out. So you're going to need something to adhere this piece of napkin to. So what you'll need to do is lay down a really thin layer of acrylic. I'm using sheer pink because it's mainly a pink, pinky design. I just want an extra bit of pink to make the colours pop a little bit more. So I'm just laying down a very, very wet, thin layer of the sheer pink acrylic across the whole entire nail. Or if you was just doing a section with the napkin, just on the section where the napkin is going to lay into. And then you just simply press it in the wet layer, making sure it sticks all the way around where you want it. And once that's adhered nicely, just trim off a bit of the excess so it doesn't look as messy. But don't be too picky because what we'll do when we come to file, it'll all come off anyway. So I'm just adding a bit of glitter to this design, just dipping into my sheer pink, picking up the glitter with a small wet bead and tapping it into place where I want it. I'm really not being precise on this design, it's a nice quick design, I'm just kind of just put it on, moving it about a bit, spreading the glitter out and leaving it. It's not a particular design, it's just to add a bit of sparkle to the picture that we've encapsulated here. So if this was done a client, you'd build the appropriate apex, but I'm just simply laying it over the tip so it's nice and even. So now it's all filed and buffed. I'm going to be using my One Move paints from Crystal Nails. I'm really sorry, I can't tell you what numbers they are. The, the number sticker has worn off on the backs. But I think the pink is from the Neon Collection. I think white is number one, maybe. I'm sure if you have a look on the Crystal Nails website, you'll be able to find them pretty easy. And I'm using the Barbara 2 brush for the detailing work. And I'm using my spare dappen dish with some water in, just to make the paints a bit more wet. So the consistency is thinner. So when doing the lines, they come out a lot thinner and they just move across the now easier. I'm just testing that on my, my skin and I'm happy with that. And just wiggle up some lines. Completely randomly. with lots of movement. Now at first you'll see me use the pink in its exact colour. I wasn't quite happy. It wasn't coming out as uh, pink as I wanted it. So I decided to mix a bit of the white 
and create a baby pink and done some more wiggly lines up and down the nail and then added a few dots then once that's dry you'll just use your normal top coat as always I like to use my glaze and go by NSI because you've done some detailing work, you want to put a thin layer on and I'm using my LED lamp, so I set it for approximately 10 seconds then I bring it back out the lamp and do a second layer and do a full cure of 120 seconds Hope you like that guys, don't forget to hit like, subscribe to my channel and please 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 share my videos to your other nail tech friends or just your friends I love having all your comments and feedback. Thanks, bye!